Hello everyone, we are here with the dart today as we are uh, swapping out these uh, fenders on here. Uh, probably not going to have them painted today, but I'm, I, I'm at least going to have them on and I'm, I'm, I'm going to get them painted later. Um, but i uh, got my brother-in-law here from Engine Lake Garage doing, uh, doing his videos. Sw finally getting able to uh, swap the, uh, the front cap on his. Go check out his channel. I'll have a link in the description for his channel. Go go check him out. And, um, let's get the camera set up and uh, fenders put on. Let's start on the driver's side. There's a freaking plastic valence from here to here. It's got one, two, one, two clips. Let's get a uh, close up of uh, my brother in law's uh, problem. What is it? It's a strip from there to here. A wind guard. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably still a screw somewhere. No, it's not screws, it's push pins. Oh, I, oh, those suck. That that sucks. Time to get back to the dart. Let's move the camera over here.
over here trying to do videos and somebody inconsiderate parked in my driveway and is making noise. <laughs> trying to make a video and I got people coming over here filming around me and crap. <laughs> I don't know what to do. If you need help, just let me know. Okay, shit. <laughs> the fenders are on. They actually look pretty good on here. I just need to finish putting everything back together. And I did notice something about my antenna. I was told that when these fenders were flat on top, that they were a uh, fender, they radio delete fender, and uh, somebody just drilled a hole in it. Well, this trim piece has two little notches on the side right there, and that match up perfectly with these notches in here. So this fender is not a radio delete fender. Um, which means I'm going to have to get the correct trim to go right here. But they're on. Just resting it on there. It, they, they actually, uh, they're actually looking pretty good. And I'm really going to, I'm really going to hate having to redrill all the, all these, uh, trim holes, but, uh, I could do it. I'm just not going to do it right now. So, uh, let's get this back together. These aluminum solo cups are awesome. Aluminum. Aluminium. <laughs> These aluminium Good idea. Good idea. Solo cups. Thank you. Yeah, cool. It is back together and looking very good. 
had to cut the camera off um it was uh my camera was getting a little hot uh, it actually uh i think it actually shut down i killed my uh killed my uh speedy footage a little bit but uh it got it I've, I've got it all back together i've got i've actually was able to reinstall the fender support right here um the one that was on that fender it was uh for this side was not actually correct so this one is probably correct for whatever vehicle this one was on but not this car so this fender is going to be a little a little wobbly right there and this one's nice and firm not going nowhere don't have any don't have any vibrations anywhere was able to get my trim lined up a lot better up here on both sides was able to get it lined up really really nice i don't have the hood stops so i need to get those but the line my hood lines are for just slapping them on and not really trying to line them up it actually lined up pretty good the hood is on this side is up a little bit because this side doesn't have the hood stops so there it's 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 a little wonky and i can't install the antenna yet because the antenna um trim that was on this fender uh actually goes with that fender so i need to get the correct trim for this fender because this fender has the has the uh really has the uh recess for the antenna and uh this one did not so yeah i got it together it's looking really good i'm just gonna have my antenna just kind of hanging off into the uh engine compartment until i can get the correct trim and my antenna uh my screw in part of the antenna is going to be going inside the car until i can get that trim but it is on my doors open and closed without hitting the gaps look decent they're okay but fenders are on and we'll be painting those brown just not right now i, I don't i don't have the paint yet but uh engine light garage is making good progress and he's got a custom uh bracket that you'll see in his video but uh yeah there it is that's that's going to be pretty much it for this video um these fenders are going to be going up for sale uh after i make uh some uh, really good templates to re-drill these uh, uh trim holes on the back on the fenders these uh emblem holes back on the fenders so gonna get to making those and then once i get those made these fenders will be going up for sale because i do not need to hang on to them they're going to go to somebody who can use them so what's up southern juju hey, what's going on oh i'm southern juju i got a small youtube channel we're trying to grow uh but i don't i haven't been on the channel before it's the first time i've ever been on the channel but yeah i've known uh Charter three three Mopar since last year, late kind of late last year. We had a car show. He had brought the charge. I think it was in Sardis, wasn't it? Yeah, Sardis. Um, and of course, I'll be there, be there this year as well. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, figured I'd come on out and hang out with him for a little yeah. bit and see what was going on. So, you know, check them out and you know, if you get the time, you know, come over and yeah. you know, check my channel out and see what we got going on. We we dabble in a little bit of everything over there. So oh yeah. Not, we're not specific. We kind of hodgepodge of all kind of videos. Whatever we can, whatever we can find a camera to record, you know. So oh yeah we got and, that going on and we got the uh, engine light garage uh scratching his head over here on with the with his uh bumper more progress and uh so the juju just drove the oh, uh, uh the cushman so i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna have a little clip of that after this <laughs> that was fun that was amazing <laughs> man i'm gonna find me one of these oh man oh they are they it's they, it's a blast yeah. it's, i'm serious if you have an opportunity to get a cushman get one because they are so for so they are so freaking fun i like i like the open cab design um this it's just the, the freedom of it but a cab design would would be nice but uh
He just knows he didn't be fine. Remember, you got fenders back there. Just shifted into third. He's gonna have to stop because I forgot to tell him there is no downshifting. I think I've told him before. Oh. Get a little squirrely there, didn't you? That front tire gets a little shaky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It rips. Oh yeah. I gotta, I, I gotta take it up and down the street one more time. There. Yeah, it rips hard. This is like recording. A, That thing's a ripper, I swear. Yeah. If I was more comfortable with that front tire when it started getting shaky, I'd be all right. I'd have hammered her down. That thing's a ripper for sure. Oh yeah. I think we're gonna end the video here. We're just gonna hang out a little while and uh, watch uh, Intellect Garage, my brother-in-law, have fun with his truck. So we'll see you on the next one and uh, uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that. And I'll see you in the next one.